Hi everyone, my name is Brittany. Uh, these are my two besties, Heaven and Sandra. We've been quarantining together during COVID. And this is the park that we come and practice yoga in. So today we figured we'd make a video for all of you who want to watch. Anyone who needs a little self-love and healing during these times. So we're just going to start in a comfortable seat. So you can sit cross-legged or you can sit on your heels wherever you're comfortable. And just close your eyes for a minute. You can rest your hands either on your knees or your thighs or palms together. And just roll your shoulders down your back. Start to lift up through the crown of the head, lift the chin. And take a nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. We'll take three more deep breaths like that in through the nose or nice and tall. And out through the mouth. Just letting everything go. Again, like that, in through the nose, out through the mouth, again, in through the nose, and out through the mouth, and then we'll start to blink the eyes open, start to reach your arms up overhead, you can bring the palms together, just reach up as tall as you can, and then start to put a bend in your right elbow, reach for your right shoulder blade. You can take hold of the right elbow with the left hand and keep lifting up through the chest. Feel yeah, that stretch in the right arm. And then slowly reach the arms back up to the sky. This time we'll push the palms away and switch sides, bending the left elbow this time. Reach for the left shoulder blade. You can pull that left elbow gently with the right hand and keep lifting up the chest. And again, we'll just reach the arms up, push the palms away, reach up to the sky, and then take the hands next to your hips and find a gentle twist over to the right side. So taking your right hand next to your right hip, left hand to the right knee. Inhale to lift to grow nice and tall, and then exhale to twist, gaze over that right shoulder. Take a long deep breath in, and deep breath out. And inhale, come back through center. And take it over to the other side. So right hand comes to the left knee, left hand next to your hip. Inhale to lift through the crown of the head and then exhale to twist. Gaze past the left shoulder. And we'll find another deep breath in. And deep breath out, twist a little bit deeper. And coming back through center on an inhale. We'll just come to a tabletop here. So roll over the knees and the shins. Take the wrists under the shoulders, fingers are spread wide, knees are under the hips, back is flat. You can take your gaze forward. And we'll start to move through cat cow here. So just connecting your breath with your movement. Inhale as you lift the crown of the head, drop the belly down towards the earth. And then exhale as you push the earth away and round the spine, tuck the chin to the chest, tailbone tucks under. Again, inhale for cow pose, belly drops, head lifts. And then exhale for your cat, deep rounding of the spine. You start to just move at your own pace. Give me a few rounds of cat cow. If there's any other movement you want to take, you could sway the hips left and right. We'll make circles with the body over in one direction and then over in the opposite direction. Maybe take one or two more rounds of your cat cow here. And then just find a child's pose. So the knees come wide, the big toes touch, sit back onto your heels. And then walk your hands forward, ground the forehead down. back to 
a tabletop just to transition here. We're gonna make our way into puppy pose. So keeping the hips where they are underneath the knees, start to walk the hands forward. Stretching out the shoulders. You can keep your gaze lifted. You can touch the ground, the forehead down if that feels better. Now we're just gonna slither on through. Come to your Sphinx pose. So your forearms are down, lifting through the crown of the head, pressing into the top speed gate. Okay, we'll take this back to downward dog. So take your hands underneath your shoulders and start to push up, lifting the hips. Feet are hips width apart or two fists width apart. Fingers are spread nice and wide. And you can start to pedal your feet out so you're bending one knee and then bending the other. Okay, just one heel down at a time. Keep lifting up through the hips, hitting the hips to be the highest point in your body. We'll start to just tiptoe one foot in front of the other. Come to a forward fold at the top of the mat. Start to put a bend in your knees. Get your chest or your belly to the tops of your thighs. And then take two fists between your feet, so measuring hips to the part. And a few options here. You can keep the knees bent, or you can start to lift the hips, freezing out the legs. You can grab onto opposite elbows in front of the shins or behind your calves. And you can give yourself a little wrist massage here, taking the hands, palms up underneath the feet. Pressing the toes into that crease in there. And let the head hang loose, shaking the head left to right or up and down. Back down to the earth. Yeah. And inhale, we'll come to a halfway lift. Bring your hands to your shins or your thighs. Keep your back flat and your gaze forward. You want to pull the collarbones apart here. And then exhale to release the head and the hands back down to your feet. Start to slowly stack one vertebrae on top of another. Coming up to rise in Tadasana Mountain Pose. When you get here, roll the shoulders down the back, bring the palms to face forward, ground through all four corners of the feet. So try to keep that weight even in both feet. You want to shift a little bit just to feel that pressure. And try to keep the weight even in both feet. Then we'll inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, take cactus arms, bend to the T, lift through the chest, maybe a slight back bend if it feels good, letting the head fall back. And then inhale, reach the arms back up to the sky, palms together. Exhale to fold. Inhale for a halfway lift, back flat, gaze forward. And exhale to release down and fold. We'll inhale, step the right leg back, come to a low lunge. So try to keep that back leg as straight as you can. Heel is lifted here to start. 90 degree bend in the front knee so your hands frame your foot. And we're gonna drop the back knee, untuck the toes, and then reach the arms up for crescent moon. Good. You can lunge a little bit deeper into that left knee here. You can keep your gaze up to the sky. Let the shoulders relax. And then finding a runner's lunge, start to straighten out the left leg, flexing the toes towards your face, hands reaching for the foot. Good. If you have blocks, you can use your blocks to frame your foot. And inhale to lift the chest and then exhale to pull yourself forward and down over that left leg. Okay, find one more deep breath here. And we'll slowly come back to a low lunge. So putting a bend back in the left knee, hands bring the foot. We'll tuck the back toes with the back knee. Step this back to your downward facing dog. So the left foot takes the right feet up and to the heart. Heels reaching down towards the earth, hips lifting up to the sky. Good. Inhale forward to your plank pose. Shoulders above the wrist coming onto your tippy toes. And then pull the shoulders a little bit further forward, coming further onto your tippy toes. Drop your knees, chest and chin, elbows, hug your side body or your rib cage as you lower down. Good, inhale to pull the chest through for a little baby cobra. Keep a slight bend in the elbows. And then we'll exhale back to downward dog. Roll over the toes, lift the hips, pedal at the feet if you have to. Find some deep breaths here in through the nose, out through the mouth. So 
you're gonna inhale, take your right leg up to the sky for a three-legged dog. And then put a bend in the right knee, stack the hips. Take your gaze underneath your left armpit and see if you can see the solar <laughs> big circles in the opposite direction. Good. When you're ready, reach the right leg back up to the sky, squaring out the hips. And then exhale, bring the knee to the nose and hold. Good. Inhale, reach it up, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the right elbow and hold. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the left elbow, passing the body. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the nose, and then we'll step that right foot through, come to a low lunge. Then finding your low lunge twist, left hand stays grounded. Right arm reaches up to the sky. Good, try to stack the shoulders here, really drawing that right shoulder back. Gaze past the right fingertips. And then right hand comes down to frame your front foot. Forward fold, top of the mat, left foot meets the right. Inhale for a halfway lift, and then exhale to fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Grow as tall as you can. And then find your cactus arms, bend to the T, palms yeah. face forward. Again, optional back bend. If you wanna lift through the chest, let the head fall back. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky, palms together. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step the left foot back. Hands frame the right foot this time. 90 degree bend in that knee, so keeping the knee over your ankle. Back leg nice and straight to start, but then we're gonna drop that back knee, untuck the toes, reach the arms up, crescent moon. Good, lunge deeper into that right knee. Feel the stretch in the left hip flexor. Relax the shoulders down away from the ears. Good, find your runner's lunge, straighten out the right leg, flex the toes towards your face, reaching for your toes, your, your nose or nose to the knee. Final deep breath in here, deep breath out, and then inhale, lift the chest, and then exhale, fold just a little bit deeper. Good, one more deep breath in, and deep breath out. Coming back to a little lunge, put a bend in the right knee, hands frame the foot, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, downward facing dog, right foot moves to left, feet hips width apart, pedal out the feet, come back to your breath. And then inhale, roll forward to your plank. Pull the shoulders forward past the fingertips. And then drop the knees, chest and chin. Elbows bend, hugging the ribcage. Inhale, pull the chest through a little baby cobra. And then exhale, takes it back, downward dog. Good, let's inhale, take the left leg up this time, three-legged dog. Put a bend in the left knee, stack the hip. Gaze under the right armpit. See if you can see the sole of the left foot. And then we'll make three big circles with the left knee. Over in one direction. Three big circles in the opposite direction. And then inhale to take the left leg back up to the sky, square the hip. Exhale, take the knee to the nose and hold. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the nose. Let's step that left foot through for a low lunge. And coming to your low lunge twist, right hand stays grounded, left arm reaches up high. Good, stack the shoulders, draw that left shoulder back. Knees towards the left fingertips. Left hand comes back down to frame the foot. Forward fold, top of the mat, right foot meets the left. Inhale for a halfway lift, pull the collarbones apart, and then exhale to fold. Head down to the earth. Inhale, sweep the arms up high, and exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, arms up high, and exhale to fold. Then step the right foot back, low lunge. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes, arms reach up, crescent moon. Runners lunge, straighten the left leg, toes draw towards the face. Good. Coming back to a low lunge, put a bend in the left knee. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, left foot meets the right, feet hips width apart. Inhale forward to plank pose. 
shoulders above the wrist and then pull the shoulders past the fingertips. Option for knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. So if you're coming through chaturanga, lower down about halfway, 90 degree bend in the elbows. Inhale for upward facing dog. Press into the tops of the feet, lift the tops of the thighs. Exhale for downward facing dog. Roll over the toes and lift the hips. Good, inhale, take the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the nose, and then step the right foot through. Low lunge, come to your twist. Right arm reaches up to the sky. Good. Right hand comes back down, frame the foot. Forward fold, top of the mat, left foot meets the right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, cactus arms, lift the chest. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step the left foot back, full lunge. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes, crescent lunge. Arms up high. Runners lunge, straighten that right leg, toes draw towards the face. Good, come back to your little lunge, bend in the right knee, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, right foot meets the left. Downward dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Shift forward onto the tippy toes. Then lower down knees, chest chin, or chaturanga. Good, inhale, upward dog. Relax your shoulders. Exhale, downward dog, roll over the toes, lift the head. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the nose. Set that left foot through, low lunge twist. Left arm reaches up to the sky. Gaze towards the fingertips. Left hand comes back down, frame the foot. Forward fold, top of the mat, right foot meets the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend the knees. Sink the hips low. Good. Arms up to the sky. Turn the pinkies in like you're twisting a light bulb and then relax the shoulders away from your ears. Good, try not to let the knees pass the toes. So if you look down, you should see the toes or else you need to shift the weight a little bit further into the heels. Maybe, maybe even lift the toes. Lift your gaze. Find a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good, one more deep breath in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step the right foot back, low lunge. Downward dog, left foot meets the right. Option to flow here if you want to come forward to your plank. Lower it down. Inhale for upward dog. And exhale, downward dog. Chair pose is always optional if you want to take a child pose or just stand down dog. Or you want to play with handstands, whatever you want to do. We'll meet back in down dog. Start to put a bend in the knees. Lift up through the hips. Take your gaze between your thumbs. Walk, step, or hop the feet between your hands to fold. Chair pose. Arms reach up high. Hips sink down low. Good. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Left foot steps back, low lunge. Downward dog, right foot meets the left. Again, optional flow. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, lowers you down. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale for downward dog. Find a child, close the knees, come wide, big toes, touch it back onto the heels. And walk the hands forward. Come back to your breath. My phone's giving me a low battery warning, so I don't know how much longer we have, but we'll keep going. So from your child's pose, we'll meet back in downward dog. 
can start by coming through plank and then lifting the hips up high. Keep the right foot up to the sky. And then step the right foot through. Come up to warrior one. So you're gonna ground your back toes towards the top left corner of your mat for about 45 degrees. Front toes forward, lunging deep into your front knee, your right knee. Arms reach up to the sky. Good, you wanna square off the hips here. So pull that right hip back, left hip forward. And then we'll find a devotional warrior. Interlace the hands behind the back. Squeeze the palms together. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Puff out the chest. And then slowly hinge at the hips. Bring the right shoulder to the right thigh or to the inside of the right thigh for a bit deeper of a stretch. Let the head relax. Keep squeezing the palms together, lifting the hands off the back, higher up to the sky. Good. Well, inhale, come back to your warrior one, arms reach up high. And then open those up to warrior two. So your front toes stay forward, heels in line, back toes ground 90 degrees. Good, arms out to a T, gaze forward. Find a peaceful warrior, right palm reaches up and back. Left hand slides down the back thigh or behind your lower back for your right hip crease. Keep that lunge in the right knee. Good, feel your stretch in the right side body, reaching through the fingertips. And then cartwheel the hands down to frame your right foot. Toes pivot forward, downward facing dog, right foot reach to left. Good, if you want a chance to flow here, you can come forward to plank, lower it down. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, coming back to downward dog. Good, let's inhale, take the left leg up high, three-legged dog. Step the left foot between hands. Coming up to warrior one, back toes ground towards the top right corner of your mat, 45 degrees. Arms reach up to the sky. Good, lunge deep into your left leg. Left hip pulls back, right hip forward, squaring out the hips. Good, let the shoulders relax. And then coming into devotional warrior again, this time bring the opposite thumb on top. So whichever thumb might feel a little funny here, squeeze your palms together, squeeze your shoulder blades, puff out the chest. Hinge at the hips, left shoulder to the left thigh or to the inside of that left thigh. Left knee. And squeezing the palms together, lifting your hands up to the sky. Good. We'll inhale, reach it back up to warrior one. And then exhale, open it up, warrior two, back to the ground, 90 degrees. Good, keep that bend in the left knee. And then inhale for peaceful warrior, left palm up and back. Right hand slides down the back thigh or behind your lower back, reaching to the left hip crease. And feel that stretch left side of the body, reaching through the fingertips. And then cartwheel the hands down, frame the left foot. Find downward facing dog, left foot meets the right. Again, take this chance if you want to flow, work with the child's pose, or take a sip of water whatever you need here. And we'll meet back in downward dog. So let's inhale, take the right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot between the hands. Rise up, warrior one. Good, this time we're just gonna exhale, reach the palms down and back. So the palms are up to the sky. Good, and then inhale. Reach it back up to warrior one. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior, right palm reaches up and back. Exhale for extended side angle. Right forearm comes to the right thigh, left arm reaches up to the sky or overhead. If you wanna take it deeper, you can take the right hand to the inside of the right foot or to a block. Keep drawing that left shoulder back, turning your chest up towards the sky. Deep breath in here, keep drawing that left shoulder back, and deep breath out. Good, one more deep breath in, and deep breath out. Good, take it back, peaceful warrior, right palm up and back. Good, exhale for warrior two, arms back parallel to the mat. Good, keep opening up that right knee. Then we'll move into trikonasana, start to straighten out the right leg, 
reach forward with the right fingertips and when you can't reach any further, hinge at the hips, bring the right hand down to the right shin. Left arm reaches up to the sky. Good, stack the shoulders. And then we'll move into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Start to put a slight bend in that right knee. Take the right hand towards the top right corner of your mat. Shifting the weight into your right foot, you can drag that left foot a little bit closer and then lift the left foot up to the sky, flexing the toes over to the left side. Good, stacking the hips here, still stacking the shoulders, drawing the crown of your head towards the front of the room. And when you're ready, we'll step it back nice and slow with control through warrior two and then find peaceful warrior, right palm up and back. Cartwheel the hands down, frame the foot. Downward facing dog, right thumb meets the left. Again, if you want to flow, flow, stay in your down dog. Moving back in down dog when you're ready, we're just going to kick it on the left side. So take the left leg up to the sky, three legged dog. Step the left foot between the hands. Rise up, warrior one. Arms up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, hands reach down and back, palms up to the sky. Inhale, reach it up, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior, left palm up and back. Exhale, extended side angle, left forearm to the left side. Right arm reaches up to the sky or overhead. Option to take your deeper left hand to the inside of the left foot or to a block at the inside of your left foot. Drawing that left shoulder back, turning your heart up towards the sky. And coming back to peaceful warrior, left palm up and back. Inhale. And exhale, warrior two. Arms parallel with the mat. Good. Draw that left knee back. We're going to move into trikonasana. So straighten out the left leg. Start to reach forward with the left fingertips. When you can't reach further, hinge at the hip. Left hand down to the left shin. Try to keep the weight out of that left hand, reaching up with the right hand. Stacking the shoulders. Draw the crown of the head towards the front of the room, lengthening the spine. And then moving to Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose, but a slight bend in that left knee. Left hand towards the top left corner of the mat. Start to shift the weight into the left leg. And then lift the right. Flexing the toes towards the right side. Stacking the left shoulder above the wrist, right arm over the left shoulder. And nice and slow with control, step it back to warrior two. Inhale for peace, left palm up and back. Cartwheel the hands down, frame the left foot. Downward facing dog, left foot meets the right. Again, take the chance to flow if you want to come forward to your plank. Exhale, elbows bend 90 degrees for Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's inhale, take your right leg up to the sky. Put a bend in the right knee, stack the hips. Good, you can stay here, you can come into your wild thing, so stepping that right foot down to the earth. Right arm reaches up to the sky. Lift up through the, ch the chest and the hips, opening up the heart. And when you're ready, coming back to your three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the knee to the nose and hold. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. If you want, you can step this through to your fallen triangle. So grounding through the right toes, turn onto the pinky edge of the left. Reach the left arm up to the sky. Good, stack the shoulders. Take it back to your three-legged dog. Right leg lifts. Then moving into your pigeon. You're gonna take the right knee towards the right wrist. So I do wanna try to get your right shin parallel or as close to parallel to the top of your mat as you can. But if you need a deeper bend in the right knee, that's fine. Keep drawing the pinky edge of the right foot down to the earth, flexing the foot. And start to walk the hands back towards the hips. Make sure that back leg is nice and straight. If you have a lot of space underneath the right hip, you could put a block or a pillow. Good, keep lifting up through the chest and then slowly start to pull your chest forward to hold. 
You can come onto the forearms or lower all the way down, grounding the forehead. We'll just stay here for five deep breaths. you can start to walk the hands up towards the right shin. Tuck the back toes under and then reach this back to your three-legged dog so the right foot lifts. Good. We're gonna set the right foot between the hands. Rise up, warrior one. Good. We're gonna take the hands together at heart center and move into warrior three pose here. So start to shift the weight into your right foot. And then lift the back leg, toes point down towards the earth. Good. So making almost a T-shape here with your body from your head to that back foot. Feel like you're stamping the back wall. If you need a supported warrior, you can take your hands down here or to blocks. Good. Try to keep the chest lifted. Now we're just going to step the left foot to meet the right and come to a chair pose. You can keep your hands together at heart center here. Shift the weight into the heels. Let the hips sink a little bit lower. And then we'll start to find a twist over to the right side. Hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Gaze past your right shoulder. If your left knee is passing the right, you want to try to pull that left hip back. Pull the left knee back so the hips are square. Good. And maybe twist a little bit deeper. Good. And we'll come into our seated spinal twist. You're going to take your left knee to the outside of the right ankle and then sit back onto your left hip good take your right hand next to your right hip reach the left arm up to the sky good put a bend in the left elbow hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee and then twist good inhale to lift through the crown of the head and then exhale twist a little bit deeper Take a counter twist over to the left side. So just bring your forehead down to here. Good. Take your hands together. And then slowly coming back up. We'll just come back to a downward dog. So however you want to get there. And then inhale, take the left leg up to the sky. Three legged like dog. Put a bend in the left knee, stack the hips. Option to move into your wild thing. Step that left foot down, reach the left arm up to the sky. Open up the heart, lift up through the hips. And when you're ready, take it back to your three legged like dog, left leg up to the sky. Right, exhale, left knee, left, uh, left knee to the nose. Inhale, three legged like dog. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, three legs back. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Option for your fallen triangle. Step that left foot through. Pinky edge of the left foot. Ground the right foot down. Reach up through the right fingertips. Take it back to your three-legged dog. Right hand under the shoulder. Left leg lifts. And then coming into pigeon. Left knee towards the left wrist. Take your foot parallel to the top of the mat. Get as close to parallel as you can. Straighten out the back leg. Walk the hands in towards the hips. Lift the chest. And as you're ready, start to pull the chest forward to fold. Coming onto the forearms. We're lowering all the way down. Taking five deep breaths here. Slowly as you're ready, walking the hands back towards the left shin, tucking the back toes, take it back to a three-legged dog, left leg lifts. Step the left foot between the hands, rise up to warrior one. Palms come together at heart center. Shifting into your warrior three, shift the weight into your left foot. 
Start to lift that right leg. Flex the toes down towards the earth. Try to square the hips. Right hip in line with the left. If you need a slight bend in the knee, if you feel more, more balanced, or if you need to take your hands down to the earth. And one more deep breath here. And when you're ready, we'll step the right foot to meet the left. Find your chair pose. Keep the palms together. Lift the weight back into the heels. Take a twist over to the left. Hook your right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Gaze past the left. Good again. The right knee is passing the left this time. Pull that right knee and right hip back. Trying to square off the hip. Good. Twisting a little bit deeper to the left side. And when you're ready, we'll move into our seated spinal twist. So this time you can take your hands down if you feel more balanced and then take that right knee to the outside of the left ankle. Sit back to that right hip. Good. We're going to take the left hand next to the hip for support. Lift through the chest. Right arm reaches up to the sky. Good. Put a bend in the right elbow. Elbow to the outside of the left knee. And then gaze past the left shoulder. Inhale to lift the chest and lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Take two more deep breaths. Good. 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 When you're ready, counter twist over to the right side. Bowing head. unraveling the legs. We'll come back to downward dog one more time. That way if you want to take one more flow here, you can. We'll inhale forward to plank. Exhale to lower down. Inhale for upward dog. Exhale downward dog. Child's pose. Knees come wide. Big toes tuck. Sit back onto the heels. Slowly as you're ready, start to walk your hands back in towards your knees. Come to sit on the heels. We're just going to move through a little dancing camel here. Hug's favorite pose. So I have to throw it in. So start by lifting the hips off of the heels, so above the knees. And just take your hands to your lower back. Pull the elbows towards each other, squeezing the shoulder blades together like you're squeezing a pencil in between them. Lifting up through the crown of the head, lifting through the chest. Good. Start to take your right hand down to your right ankle and reach your left arm up to the sky. Good. Then slowly switch sides. Take the left hand to the left ankle, right arm reaches up to the sky. Good. Keep pushing the hips forward, lifting up through the chest. So right hand, right ankle, left arm up to the sky. Good. And then switch. Left hand, left ankle, right arm up to the sky. Good, and you can start to move at your own pace. Move as fast or as slow as you want to move. Make the movements as big and as dramatic as you want them to be. You can lift and lower the hips if that feels good. Or make bigger circles in front of the body with the arms. And just remembering to breathe with each movement. You can keep moving through Dancing Camel. Or if you want to move in to your full camel, we'll start by just coming back to bringing your hands to your lower back to support. Okay, lift through the chest, push the hips forward. Then taking left hand to the left ankle, right hand to the right ankle, squeezing the shoulder blades together, protecting the neck. And let the head fall back so it's easier and comfortable. When you want to come out of it, take one hand at a time to the lower back, drop the chin to the chest. And then we'll just find a modified child's pose here. So you're going to keep your knees together, sit back onto the heels, bring your forehead down to the earth and reach the arms behind you, taking a tug of your heels. You can feel that stretching the lower back here.
start to shift the weight into your right hip. Swing the legs in front of you. Good. And then keeping the legs straight out in front of you. Take your hands next to your hips. Good. So coming into a stack pose here. Good. Lifting through the chest, lifting through the crown of the head. Good. We're going to come into a reverse tabletop. So grounding the soles of the feet down, walking the feet in towards the knees. Start to lift the hips off the ground. So knees over the ankles. Good. We're just going to uh, lift and lower here. We'll do five times. So just lower the hips and then lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Two more. Lower and lift. Last one. Lower and lift. Hold for ten. Nine. going to cross the right foot over the left knee or right ankle past the left knee. We're going to do five more hip pulses like this. So lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Last two, lift and lower and last one and lower. Good. Step the right foot to meet the left. If you want, you can sway the knees here, left and right. We're just going to take it on the other side. Coming back to center. This time, left ankle past the right knee, and we'll do five hip pulses. So lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Last two, lift and lower, and last one, and lower. Left foot meets the right again. If you want to sway the knees, if that feels good. So we're just going to straighten out the legs one more time. Get a fuller fold here. So inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, pull the chest forward. Full belly drops down to the tops of the thighs. You can put a bend in the knees if it feels better. Flex the toes towards your face. Good. Keep pulling the chest, the collarbones forward. Pull a little bit deeper. right leg straight and just put a bend in the left knee, put the sole of your foot into your inner thigh. Good. You want to take that right foot out a little bit wider than your mat. And we'll just inhale, reach the arms up, turn towards the right foot, and then slowly fold. Again, flexing the toes towards the face. left foot past the left side of your mat, straighten it out, right foot to the inner thigh, inhale, arms reach up to the sky, turn towards the left foot, flex the toes towards your base and then fold. to come back up. You can take both feet mat width apart. Maybe shake them out. And then slowly as you're ready, start to lower onto your back. So you take your arms by your sides. And then just slowly start to lower. Coming into your final resting pose. Your body settle down into the mat. Acknowledge any thoughts that come to you here. Try to just send them away. Try to get them to the stillness of your mind, your body, your spirit. Let go of any worries, any anxiety, anything that's just stressing you out. Make time for yourself.
hobbies and start to wiggle your fingers, start to your toes, and then circle over your wrist and your ankles. And any small movements you can make, you want to keep the head kind of straight. You can start to tug the knees into your chest, give yourself a big tug here. You can start to roll a little bit, get the heels to the knee. Start to make your way over to your side, whichever side feels better for you. You can use that arm as a cane. Come back to your breath, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Just taking this moment to thank yourself for your hard work and for your sacrifices to your body. Keep your eyes closed. Make your way back to a comfortable seat. Coming back to how we started our practice. If you want to sit cross-legged or sit on your knees, and just take your hands together at heart center. And another deep breath in through the nose, lift through the crown of the head. Exhale through the mouth, nice and loud. Again, like that, in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more time. Inhale and exhale. The divine light and love in me honors the divine light and love in each one of you. Namaste. Thank you guys for watching our video. Stay safe, stay healthy, lots of love.